It's been about a month since I set up the Fussell Farms cow sprayer here at my ranch and in that time most of what I have been doing is trying to train the cattle to walk through this thing and not be afraid of it. And if I had this to go back and do over again, I feel like I could do it a lot faster with all of the things that I've learned. <laughs> so today I wanna to tell you about some of those things that I figured out and we're gonna take the next step and actually put some chemical in this thing and let it start doing its job. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. If you missed the video where I set this cow sprayer up, or maybe you just don't remember what it is, it is a device designed to spray fly spray on the cattle as they walk through it. This is really awesome because it's gonna continuously apply this fly spray and I really don't have to do anything. The cows do all the work for me, or I should say the cow sprayer does all the work for me. After setting the cow sprayer up initially, it did not take me long to figure out that the cattle wanted absolutely nothing to do with walking through that thing. This is a problem because it's kind of how the sprayer works. Each time the cattle walk through this thing, there are three nozzles on the top, three nozzles on the bottom, and then one nozzle on either side. So they're getting full body coverage of that spray as they walk through. The problem with most fly sprays is that they require continuous applications. This solves that problem. The only hard part about using this cow sprayer is that you need to train the cattle to use it because initially they do not want to walk through this thing. It's scary to them. So what I ended up doing to solve this problem is I had the cow sprayer up set up in a gate that was a lot wider than this one. And I just opened the side wing so that the cattle could walk through the sprayer itself, or they could walk through on either side of it. And this was just to condition them to walk right next to this thing and realize that it was not gonna eat them. Once I had them used to that, the next step was to get them to actually walk through this thing. And the way that I did that is I took the trip arms and I tied them up out of the way so that this was just a straight shot through. To take it a step further, I waited until all the cattle were up here in the corral and then I closed the wings on the side of the sprayer, tied the arms open so that if they wanted to go out and eat grass, the only way that they were going to be able to do that was to walk through the middle of the sprayer. So after a couple of days of the cattle walking through the cow sprayer with the arms tied open, then it was time to move to the next step and that was to untie one arm, not both, just one so that there was still a clear pathway through the sprayer, but in order to go through that pathway, they would kind of have to nudge the other side here. The next step was to untie that arm and put it in the configuration like I have now and just get them used to walking through this thing with the sprayer still turned off. After a couple of days of this, you can imagine that the next step is the one that we've been waiting for, and that is to turn the sprayer on and let it start doing its job. But when doing this, I made a mistake. When I first turned the sprayer on, I had the arms kind of in the middle, like where they are right now. And I realized that that was not the right way to do this. The better way to do it is to move the arms out, like as far as you can actually, so that when they do activate the sprayer, the noise and the spray is behind their shoulders so that when they do get scared by it, and trust me, they will, they jump forward and they go through it. And you know, the theory being that after they do that enough times, they would get used to it, everything would be fine. What I found though, is with having the arms more towards the middle, is that what the cattle were doing is they would walk up to the sprayer, they would sniff it and they would look it over real hard. They'd be looking at the arms and then they would accidentally trip one and the spray would go off and it would go off right in their face, which would scare them back into the corral and all progress is now lost. We live and we learn. And I moved the spray arms back to where they should be and kind of had to restart this training process all over again to get those wary cows to trust this thing again. And finally, I got them. So basically to sum this all up, to train cattle to walk through the cow sprayer just took baby steps. 
a little bit at a time and make sure they're good and used to each step before you move them on to the next one. It does take time, but the worst thing that you can do is try to rush them through it or try to get them to go through it before they're ready. Or what would what is a really bad idea is to like push them through it you know get on the other side with like a whip or a paddle or something and try to force them to walk through it that's not the way to make them walk through this thing at ease you know they might go through it because you make them but it's a lot better if they walk through it and it's their own idea and they feel comfortable enough to do it on their own Up to this point, I've just been running water through the sprayer as we complete this training. But I think today is the day that we're gonna put some actual spray in here and let this sprayer finally do what it was designed to do. In the future, I would like to track down some good natural fly spray, but at the moment I don't have any. So what I'm gonna spray is a mixture of permethrin, Dawn dish soap, and water. I just added the chemical to the spray tank and most of the cows walk through, not all of them, a few of them opted to stay up here in the shade. But this is the first actual spraying and I can't believe at all the dead flies that are on the ground already. I mean, that's pretty impressive. There's gotta be thousands of dead flies on the ground there. And that's only the first application. I mean, imagine if they walk back and forth through this thing a couple times today, which they probably will. I'm thinking in a few days, the fly pressure is gonna be noticeably reduced. What I'd like to do now is walk through the cattle a little bit and get an idea of what the fly load is now. And then let's say in a week, we'll do this again. We'll walk through and see if there is a noticeable reduction in flies. The flies are getting you, buddy. Hmm? They're getting you. We're gonna take care of them. We're gonna take care of them, don't worry. You got a lot on you. Well, as you can see, the fly load is, it's not what I would consider like terrible, but it's affecting some cows worse than it is others. And they're definitely here. They're at the level that we probably need to do something about it. So I think I'm gonna wait a week or so and we'll, we'll sort of walk through them again and see what things look like. Well, I know I said we were gonna wait a week and check out the results out here. It's only been about two days and I feel like I'm already seeing some pretty good results. I'm looking around out here at these cattle and I certainly won't say that there are no flies on them, but there seems to be a pretty drastic reduction compared to a couple days ago, where a couple of these girls had flies that were pretty bad I'm having a tough time finding any cows that look like that now. Number 52 here is actually a pretty neat example and really shows what we're accomplishing. Notice that her fly load is like right on her shoulders and forward. There's really nothing from her shoulders back. And that's because where I've got the trip arms adjusted on the sprayer, that's right where it would be hitting her. As the cattle become more accustomed to the spray coming out and the noise of the pump, I would like to move those arms back towards the middle so that ideally I want them to trigger it and have it hit like right behind the ears and cover them all the way to their tail. But because there is a bit of a learning curve and a training period with this device, we can't just jump right into that. But I think next week we probably will. Little boy, our black bull here, he walks through that sprayer really calm. And I think he gets probably one of the best applications. And you can see on his back, he's barely got any kind of flies. I'm really seeing a pattern that wherever the cows do have flies on them, it's up by their shoulders where I don't think they're getting sprayed very well yet.
Well, I'm not making any final conclusions yet, but uh, clearly after a couple days, there's already a pretty dramatic decrease in the number of flies on these cattle. I'm gonna continue to monitor the fly load on the cows throughout the summer, but so far, I like what I'm seeing. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.